Bifacial modules output higher DC current because of rear side generation. This poses additional challenges in bifacial system design. The wrong inverter pairing leaves money on the table as you have to settle for a lower than target DC to AC ratio. Higher DC to AC ratios allow the system designer to widen production shoulders and to produce more energy for a given AC power line capacity limit. This is especially important where the PPA rate is high or there is a maximum AC power capacity limit in the transmission network. Generally, you want a DC to AC ratio of at least 1.3, sometimes as high as 1.5, to maximize production and minimize the levelized cost of electricity for your project. But some inverters won't allow you to get into that target DC to AC ratio range. Let's look at an example in the US Northeast using Canadian Solar's 410 watt Bi Haiku Poly modules. In this part of the world, we can support 28 modules per string. Here's how we calculate the DC to AC ratio. The first step is to calculate the maximum number of strings. It's the short circuit current rating of the inverter divided by the short circuit current of the module. But you also have to apply two D rate factors per the National Electric Code, a 1.25 D rate for exceptional weather conditions and a 1.3 D rate for bifacial PP modules. With our competitor's 125 kilowatt inverter, the short circuit rating is 240 amps. The Bi Haiku module delivers a short circuit current of 11.06 amps at standard test conditions. So the maximum number of modules per string is 240 divided by 11.06 divided by 1.25 divided by 1.3, which yields 13 strings maximum. The second step is to calculate the DC power, which is 13 strings times 410 watts per module times 28 modules per string, which yields 149.2 kilowatts DC of PV power to each inverter. The final step is to calculate the ratio of DC power to AC power, which is 149.2 kilowatts DC divided by 125 kilowatts AC or 1.19 maximum. That's below the target range of 1.3 to 1.5. Compare that to the same scenario using Canadian Solar's 125 kilowatt inverter, which has a DC short current rating of 300 amps. The number of strings is 300 amps divided by 11.06 amps divided by 1.25 divided by 1.3, which yields 16 strings maximum. The DC power is 16 strings times 410 watts per module times 28 modules per string, which yields 183.7 kilowatts DC. The maximum DC to AC ratio is then 183.7 kilowatts divided by 125 kilowatts, which yields 1.47. This gives you lots of room to optimize your project. In summary, Canadian Solar's 125 kilowatt inverter is better designed for bifacial systems with a higher DC short circuit current rating, enabling higher DC to AC ratios to produce more energy.